YouTube, hello, 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 episode number 15 of the FIFA 23 career mode. But last time around, oh man, the drama of the Euros. I am still shaking from that, but uh, we keep we keep on going. We finish off the transfer window this time around. We get into the preseason and we get prepared for the Bundesliga proper. We have 20 mil to play with and we need to find a keeper, a starting winger and some depth at the fullback positions. So we have a lot of work to do. We're coming off that high with Wales. Uh, let's. Oh, again, I'm still shaking. Let's let's get into the games. Well, I guess not the games, the transfer window. Let's do it. Yeah, and there you see it. We are still on that screen. We won 4-2 on penalties against Spain. Dan James, Daniel, Danielson. Two straight games in a row. He seals it for us in penalties. I bleh, cannot believe it. Champions of Europe. You love to see it. Okay, now we get into the transfer window. Aaron Thomas out on loan to Maritimo for a year. Uh, that's in Portugal. They have an option to buy him for a little bit over two mil. So hopefully he will develop. And if we sell him on, great. So we're taking on Hellas Verona in this preseason game. Nothing to report as far as transfers goes. I'm trying. I'm really trying. But like I said, nothing so far. We'll just do basic highlights for this. It is Hiller and Gold, Costa Castro, Morgala, Fati, the back four. Lingalarza holding the mid. Field, Michelle, Vernezzi, the attacking mids, Boyamba, and Marich, the wingers. Lock and Mocker is the striker. Get him. Oh boy, Silva, don't like this. So, okay, no, we just, okay, we're not just gonna, okay. We're just going to not play defense. All right. Cool, cool. Then again. Come on, bud. Then, yep. Galarza. Boyamba. Nope. Vernezzi, hit that down. All right, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Just recycle play. We got this. Then, Boyamba. You stupid man. Boyamba, this is why you are not a regular starter. Ugh. Ripley. Love you. <laughs> oh boy. No, no, no. Okay. Oh my. Blah. Okay, Finn. Ah, who is that too? Nobody. Frenesi. Galarza. I got Vernezzi! Vernezzi! Don't you dare miss! You don't miss! You never miss! Yes, Vernezzi! Ah, big goal. Okay, bud. Can't be doing that. Can't be doing that. Can't be doing that. Oh, get out of here. They're on a red. That's a second yellow. They are on a red. Only, I mean, stoppage time. All right. Well, here we go. Vernezzi. Boyamba. Okay. Boyamba, have a go, my dude. No, Boyamba, you stinky, stinky boy. Oh, you're so bad. Mm, it ends one to one. Bah. Oh, boy. First signing. We finally bring somebody in. Uh, by the way, this dude, 18 years old. Look at that beard. McCloskey, he is a center back. He, uh, listen, he's not what we needed immediately also chibi aren't you supposed to be injured anyway he's not immediately what we needed but i i couldn't deny him he's a 73 overall 18 year old center back uh he comes in from celtic the northern irishman i was not super duper comfortable with lang being you know one of the rotational players so patrick mccloskey in from celtic for a little bit over, for basically, it was like 5.5 mil or something, and then a little bit of a signing bonus. 15,000 a week. So we get a B for it. 74, not even a 73, a 74. You'll love to see it. So yeah, he will just jump in as one of the first team players. 
Okay, next preseason game against Lecce. Live from the San Siro. McCloskey is in. Other than that, nobody else. Uh, everybody's exhausted. We, we, we desperately need some depth. Yes, Marich. Yes, Marich. Good job, my dude. Thread it through. Oh, Matthew. Yo, that was nice. Van Lockenmacher at the end of that one. One to nil. Oh, you'll love to see it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Okay, big save. Good stuff. Clear that. Thank you, Finnegan. Marich. No, no, no. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. Marich. Marich. That's you. Across. Finnegan. That's another one. Stop it. Get some help. Oh, that was the lamest thing I've ever said. But we scored. Oh, Marich. Marich is playing well. Oh, great ball there. Charlie Webster is open. Webster. Michelle loops it up and over the keeper. Three to nil. Flick down there. Olsen. I think Michelle is onside. He is. Michelle spins. Oh, Zakaria Michelle. Are you kidding me? You disgusting boy. Oh, what? Yeah, let's see that again. <laughs> wow. Big boy win. Four to nil. You love to see it. Uh, who is this? What is happening? Who? Oh, I know who this is. Right. Right. This is our new striker. Remember when I said we needed left backs and right backs and, and wingers? And we brought in a center back and a striker. But here's the thing. Uh, I could not deny this. 79 overall striker from Man U. We tried to bring him in with a loan to buy. Wahi. But uh, they said no, only a loan. But nonetheless, we have a new striker. He is not going to replace Lockenmucker. He is better than Lockenmucker. He is not going to replace him. We're going to switch up the formation a little bit and uh, play with two strikers. So Elie Wahi is in for a year. Again, we didn't get a chance. He's an 80. Wow. He can also play the wing. Oh, perfect. But yeah, we didn't get a chance to uh, get him on a loan to buy, but we'll take it. All right, another transfer. Uh, it is Dragutin Novak, the 18-year-old Serbian center back who came up through our uh, youth academy. He is going to... I don't even remember who that is. Who is that? Oh, ASC Sepsi. No clue how to say the rest of that. Uh, he's going to them for 1.35 mil as long as he agrees on uh, a contract with his agent. So we're gonna, at least going to get a little bit of money for Novak. And we find our winger. It is Alejandro. Ale Alejandro. Garnacho from Man U. We are raiding Man U this offseason. Uh, he's a 73. He might be up to a 74. Uh, overall, Argentinian winger. He looks very exciting. I mean, he... He might just replace Chibi. At the moment, my plan is... Alejandro... Basically, he is going to be our starter. And uh, if he plays really well, then Chibi is gone. Come the winter transfer window. If not, then um, we figure it out when it comes to it. But 5.5 mil, 74 overall. We apparently could have maybe, 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 maybe got him for a little bit cheaper. Yeah, we could have got him for 1.4 mil less, but I figured we need a winger. Let's get him. And another signing. Oh, we're just bringing everybody in. We're finally getting the players we actually need. We bring in a depth uh, right back who, oh man, what is his name? Wow, I am terrible with names. I am so bad at remembering things. 
That's probably what I was doing to the player. I was like, oh yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good to see you. And then just peace out. Oh god, my voice. Excuse me. Just peace out before I had to remember his name. And it was super awkward. Uh, it's Erwin something, I think. Oh my god, what is it? Irvin, that's his name. Irvin Lamami. He comes in for two mil from Lyon. Uh, 20 years old. Nice, we got an A for it. I don't even know his overall. He's only partially scouted. So this is going to be a surprise to me as much as it is you. 70 overall. All right, that is totally fine. Totally good, solid squad player. And again, only 20 years old. All right, before we get into another game, I figured we should look at the objectives. They have been updated. 84% uh, confidence rating. You'll love to see it. So, youth development. Sign at least three players younger than 20 years old with potential greater than the average overall rating of players currently in the same position. Great, we've already done that. Long term, uh, within two seasons, sign four youth players to the senior team. Play them in 20 matches, either as part of the starting 11 or coming on as a sub. We have two seasons left for that. So that just ticked over. So unfortunately, all the players that we've been bringing in over the last year or two, uh, putting them into the senior squad, those don't count. So we're going to have to hope to uh, put some more players in. What else? We have got get a streak of three wins in away matches this season. Sign one crucial team player assigned to a defender position. That's what we did with McCloskey, but apparently that doesn't count, which sucks. Nothing in continental success as far as the domestic success part of me. Uh, reach the round of 16 in the DFP. We'll call avoid relegation and within two seasons finish mid table and then financial keep the player salary growth under 15 percent i i don't know how you possibly do that by the way and then also sell two players and sign one important player to replace them we've already done that and long term is make eight mil profit from youth player sales within three seasons we have one season left and we're at just under half so okay all right all right most of this is doable all right, we're taking on Cremonese, and we got a whole bunch of new signings and players, and it is Duarte Engel, Fati, Castro, Morgala, Lomami are the back four, Galarza is a holding mid, Bauman, Renezi the attacking mids, Garnacho, Alejandro, Alejandro, Alejandro on one wing, Boyama on the other, and Wahi is the starting striker. Dispossessed, but Morgala gets to it first, Lomami now. Renezi, he's got Wahi, Wahi turning, Wahi... Oh man, scores and 1 to nil early on for 1860 Munich. Frenesi, Boyamba, up and over the top. Bauman, ooh, Bauman. Lamami, balls for Boyamba. Frenesi, oh, rebound, yes! There it is, 2 to nil. Yes, good pressure. Garnacho. And Wahi! Oh, Wahi! Oh boy, this, this team is fun to play with. Three to no. Oh, huge slide tackle by Morgala. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no, you dare score! Mm, okay, alright, it's fine. It's, it's fine. It's totally fine. Okay, what is happening? Alright. Through for Bauman. Come on, Bauman. Get on to that bike, son. Oh, Bauman, top corner. Nice. Pressure that boy. Pressure that boy. Yes. Yes. Goal. Yeah. <laughs> Five to one. McCloskey. Why not? Cafu. Make it six. No. That's going to be the end of it. Another big boy win. Five to one. Hey. Apparently we won the European International Cup. Sweet. Didn't even have to do any finals or anything. And we get an extra uh, 2.65 mil. You'll love to see it. So Novak is gone to Sepsi OSK. 1.35 mil. We got to see. Apparently we could have got a little bit more money for it. I mean, 350k more. All right, whatever. It's fine. I'll take it. So the Charlie Webster saga, at least for the moment, is over. He is going out on loan to Portugal. We're going to miss him. He was great in that first season, but after that injury, 
I've been saying it several times now. He just was not the same player. So he's going out to Portugal for 12 months. They have an option to buy him for 1.6 mil, I believe. I think it's around 1.6 mil. And then also Jankovic is going to Turkey. He is gone for a year as well. And I think his loan to buy is 1.3 or 1.4. So yeah, two loans out. Hope for the best. All right, that is going to be the end of the episode. I think that was pretty, pretty solid. I think we made some really good signings there. We still need a keeper, but we have eight mil left in the bank to try and find one. Uh, maybe one or two other depth players as well. But next time around, we properly start the Bundesliga season. And I have to admit, I don't like the changes in the UI colors, but we start against Bayern Munich. We start with a Munich derby in the next episode. And then it is Paderborn, uh, Bielefeld after that. So it takes us to three games. Oh, cool. And then uh, we have some international friendlies, Ireland and Portugal. And uh, Freiburg is going to be the last game of the next episode. Oh, that game against Munich. That is terrifying. <laughs> so just super quickly, if we want to look at what our actual starting lineup is probably going to look like, I'm going to plug that in real quick and then we'll finish off the episode with that, shall we? All right, looking at the squad and the formation, this is what it is probably going to be for this season. We might mess around, we will see. But it is going to be Hiller and goal for sure. DaCosta, Castro, Morgala, Fati as a back four. McCloskey will obviously get in there somewhere. Olsen will as well. Same with Lomami. They're all on the bench. Michelle Galarza in the midfield. Michelle is going to take over for Vernezzi as the full-time attacking mid. But of course, Vernezzi is going to get playing time. Marich and Garnacho on the wings until Chibi comes back. And we'll have to figure out what we're going to do. Once he does, I have transfer listed him for now. And then we've got Lockenmacher and Wahi as the two strikers. We will see if that two striker system works. I'm going to set up another formation where we have a one striker system and a holding mid for sure, uh, especially against, you know, teams like Bayern Munich. And then otherwise, notable players. Mathieu will definitely get some playing time. Boyamba will as well. Mathieu is loan listed. And if somebody comes in for him, then I will give him that chance to go out and uh, get some playing time. Same with Bauman, who will, if he doesn't get loaned out, also get some playing time. Kafu is still here. Lang will get some playing time. Uh, otherwise, I mean, all these players are basically just on the senior team to hopefully get sold or loaned out. So, yeah. Oh, boy. We start against Bayern Munich. Boy, oh, boy. That is not going to be fun. But that's my problem for next episode. This episode, we are done. So last thing of the episode, I promise it is Oliver Bauman, 34-year-old free agent. Uh, we can get him between 29.5 thousand a week to 47.5 a week. We can afford him. We'd still have a lot of money left for the transfer budget. He automatically makes our keeping situation better. But I'm worried it's a little bit too unrealistic. So I need your help. Comment section. Do we go with Hiller? Do we keep Hiller as a starting goalkeeper or do we go for Bauman? I'm leaning Bauman just because I want to, <laughs> I want some help, but it's up to you guys. I'm not going to do this alone. All right. So chime in in the comment section. Let me know what you think and uh, we'll go from there. All right. That is going to be the end of episode number 15, the end of the trend. Well, not the end of the transfer window. We still got a couple of weeks left, but the end of the summer at least and we begin our Bundesliga journey <laughs> against Bayern Munich. Oh, boy. But yeah, I think it was a good transfer window. I think we did some good business there. We brought in some players that I think are going to definitely make us better. We got some loans out, some loans that still might finalize. And then possibly the final piece of the puzzle, Bauman, the old, old man. Do we bring him in? Again, that is up to you. Comment section. Let me know how you feel about it. And I will figure it out from there. But thank you for watching. Do all the algorithmy stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. And um, I will be seeing you very soon for the start, the start of the Bundesliga. Oh, boy. All right. Don't forget that you're loved. You're amazing. 
you're pretty rad and uh, smooches, all right? Have yourselves a wonderful rest of the day. Mm -hmm.